Revision 16 of the Mesa Turnip Driver for version 24.1.0 has been released over the last 24 hours, and in today's video, we'll be talking about the changes included in this update, the hardware that it supports, where you can download it, and more. But before we can begin, if you're not familiar with what a custom Mesa Turnip GPU driver is, then please check out the introductory video that I did on the subject. I will be sure to include a link to that video down in the description below, and that will get you up to speed. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since revision 15 was released, so there's actually quite a number of bug fixes included in this update. So if you found that revision 15 hadn't given you the performance that you had hoped for, or if it introduced some graphical issues or bugs, then you'll definitely want to try out revision 16. This can be downloaded from Kim Chi's GitHub page, which will be linked in the video description below. But I'll also include a direct download link that mirrors this release. That way, if you're unable to find it, or if it gets pulled, then it can still be downloaded via that link as well. Now, this release includes all of the changes that went into version 24.1.0 of the Mesa driver. So we are likely to see some additional games performing better or with fewer graphical issues compared to the previous release. This driver also comes with all of the changes in version 1.3.275 of the Vulkan release. And the developer has noted that this update goes on to improve the initial support given to the Adreno 750 GPU as well. You can see that noted in the A750 in the changelog. We first saw initial support added to revision 15, but again, that was released two weeks ago. So seeing the progress made with revision 16 is something that the community has been requesting about a lot. The last note in this release talks about how this update now supports the Adreno 600 series GPU and it includes partial support for the Adreno 700 series GPUs, except for the Adreno 710. If you're not familiar with what GPU you have inside of your Android smartphone or tablet, then I recommend downloading an application in the Google Play Store called CPU-Z. It's free to install, and after you open it up, on the very front page, you're going to see which GPU is inside of your device. You can see here in the GPU renderer section that I have the Adreno 750 inside of this smartphone. And that tracks because it has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. And as long as your device has a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, then it should also come with an Adreno GPU. Chips from Google, Samsung, or MediaTek tend to ship with the stock Mali GPU cores, but whatever is inside your device will be displayed toward the bottom of this tab here. If you've had a chance to try out revision 16 of the Mesa Turnip custom GPU driver, then be sure to share your experience down in the comments section below. I am very curious to know which bugs were fixed in this release, if it's helping the Adreno 750 GPUs more than the previous update, and whether or not this release has performed well for you. So please share your comments down below.